My name is Corey McDonald. I am the one of the co-founders and currently the patient engagement director for the Choroideremia Research Foundation. Choroideremia is an X-linked inherited retinal degenerative disease. It starts with night blindness as a youth. I personally have no recollection of ever seeing a star in the sky, to give an example. Eventually shrinks down to what we call tunnel vision and then leads to total blindness. As a teenager, I played volleyball in a very high level league. And as I got into my early 20s, I started losing the ball and didn't realize that the reason I lost the ball was the visual field had shrunk down to a point where I couldn't see anymore. I had to adapt in my other passion of martial arts and walk away from fighting because I was afraid of hurting the other guy because I couldn't judge as well as I needed to where that kick was going. And as my sight got worse and I started using a cane, it was very difficult for me because one of the things you learn as a martial artist is to not be a target and really to not try to look like a target. Body language, keeping your head up, things like that. And, you know, let's face it, to the, the common society, they see that white cane and the automatic assumption is that person is helpless. So I started playing with the cane and developed nine techniques for using the cane as a self-defense weapon. And I never had any thought about taking it further than that. And then I was invited uh, to do a demonstration at a blindness convention. And it just kind of exploded. I mean, the whole weekend, people were coming up to me and asking, where can I learn this? How can I do this? You know, that kind of thing. And that's how the, as we called it, the blind justice system of self-defense was created. It is kind of funny how your life structure and how your life plays out can benefit you in ways you never thought possible. Martial arts, gave me self-discipline, it gave me patience. It did a lot for me to settle me emotionally. Yeah, you're dealing with something that is life-altering, but it is not life-ending, and there's a big difference.